Forgiveness, what is it, and why do we need it? We live in a world where offenses can occur between the closest of friends. Our normal reaction is to feel disappointment and even anger over being the victims of injustice at the hands of someone we love. When offenses occur, we face a choice. We can hold on to the offense and let it grow until it contaminates our relationship, or we can choose to forgive and may need to do so more than once. Forgiveness is a powerful tool for repairing relationships, restoring the sense of closeness, and for setting us free from the emotional chains we place on ourselves as we try to rebalance the scales of justice in our favor. Forgiveness is a gift, but what exactly is forgiveness and why should we embrace it? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the concept of forgiveness. It's a topic that touches all of us at some point in our lives. So, grab a cup of tea, get comfortable, and let's explore this transformative power together. Forgiveness is the conscious decision to let go of resentment, anger, or the desire for revenge against someone who has wronged us. It's not about condoning the behavior or forgetting the hurt or relieving the other person of their responsibility for their actions. Forgiveness is not saying what happened was okay, but rather freeing ourselves from the emotional burden. Think of forgiveness as a gift you give to yourself. It's about releasing the heavy weight of grudges and finding inner peace. But why is it so important? Forgiveness has profound benefits for our mental, emotional, and even physical well-being. Studies show that forgiving others can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and improve heart health. When we hold on to anger and resentment, it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to suffer. Forgiveness allows us to break free from that cycle and move forward with our lives. Meet Sarah. A close friend deeply hurt her, and for years, she carried that pain with her. But one day, Sarah realized that holding on to unforgiveness only made her miserable. Her friend's life seemed to be great, and she did miss the friendship they once enjoyed. Sarah decided to forgive. It wasn't easy, but it changed her life. She felt lighter, happier, and more at peace. Forgiving my friend was one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it was also the most liberating. I realized that holding on to anger was only hurting me. So, how can we practice forgiveness in our own lives? Here are a few tips. 1. Acknowledge your feelings and allow yourself to feel them. 2. Reflect on the situation and try to understand the other person's perspective. 3. Decide to forgive, even if you don't feel like it at first. 4. Let go of the need for an apology or justice. 5. Focus on the present and the future, rather than dwelling on the past. Forgiveness is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, patience, and courage, but the rewards are worth it. By forgiving, we open our hearts to love, compassion, and healing. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need a little encouragement to forgive. Until next time, remember to be kind to yourself and others. See you in the next video.